Have you ever noticed that when a phone call comes in onto your, you know, your smartphone, there's, um, I think there's two buttons on there. If I'm, you know, from my memory, I think one says accept, right? And the other says decline. So you have the power to accept that phone call or to decline it if you're busy or don't want to talk right now. You know, the same thing is the thoughts that come into your mind. Do you know you have the power to accept that thought or to decline it? Do you know not every thought that comes into your mind is, is your own thought? Thoughts that seemingly come out of nowhere, they come up, they come from the spiritual realm. So out of nowhere, if you have a thought, call so-and-so, that wasn't your thought. It was a thought from either God or the enemy. And uh, so if you have a thought, let's say a, a bad thought, that, like, oh my gosh, or you have a thought that comes into your mind that's accusing somebody or judging somebody, you have the power to hit the decline button if you don't want to receive that thought. But the moment you start dwelling on it, you're making it your own. So think about that. Don't accept every thought that comes into your brain. If that thought is making you bitter or frustrating you or in any way taking, making you restless, taking peace out of your soul, decline it. Nothing is worth losing your peace over. And yes, after you decline it, does it go away? No, there's like a phone call, yes. <laughs> Actually a phone call, I think it takes it straight to your voicemail. So how about after you decline it and it just won't go away, after you say, I'm not going to accept it, I should say. I'm not I'm declining this thought. It's not my own. I'll pray. Sing a scripture song. Recite a verse that you've memorized. Ask Jesus to take it. Anything. Think about something else. Think about a good memory. Anything so that thought will go away. If that thought is from the enemy, and obviously if you're declining it, it probably is. The Bible says, submit to God and, and resist, or sorry, yes, resist the devil, submit to God. You know, the devil will flee. Submit to God. Think about something good. Think, think some God thoughts. <laughs> devil don't like that. Say Jesus. He hates that name. Anything. Don't let anyone or anything steal your peace.